Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, artistic director and founder of Vocal Essence and organist choir master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. That was music of the American composer Horatio Parker. Born in 1863, died in 1919. Composer, organist, teacher, and uh, certainly in the last days of the 1800s, he was the most prominent composer in the USA. He had been an organist in New York City and in Boston. In 1893, he began his tenure at Yale University. In 1904, he became Dean of the School of Music there. In 1911, his opera Mona was premiered at the Metropolitan Opera in New York. Uh, he was a very influential person, not without uh, some criticism. One of them was from a student of his named Charles Ives. And so early in the 1900s, as he was uh, there at Yale and Ives was studying with him, there was this other guy coming along named Richard Strauss who had written this wild opera, Salome, and uh, Horatio Parker had no time for this modern stuff. And it was Ives who is supposed to have said in a class when Horatio Parker said that, uh, Ives said, you're just jealous that you can't write something like that. Well, anyway, he was a masterful composer. In 1893, Horatio Parker had written his most famous piece, uh, an oratorio called Hora Novissima, words of the medieval poet Bernard of Cluny. This is the first oratorio by an American to be premiered at the Three Choirs Festival in England. It's a wonderful piece. I mean, he wrote 10 cantatas and oratorios, but this particular one that beginning that I played for you is the beginning of a soprano aria. But the piece that's really grand, and I've conducted this oratorio several times. Uh, I did it out at the Berkshire Choral Festival, and I've done it here in the Twin Cities. Uh, there is this movement for the choir that is, uh, it translates as most mighty, most holy, or pars mea rex meus. And it begins with a very grand and then the choir. And that theme will come back at the end of this movement. Then starts a fugue with the tenors starting us off. And then the bass. And then the sopranos come in, the altos, and it gets bigger and bigger all the way through. And then there's a little quiet middle section after all of this rather bombastic stuff, and you hear them sing. That gathers steam, and then finally comes the final section in which that opening theme comes back now elongated so that instead of it 
it becomes two, three, four, bum, 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 bum. And the orchestra, full, triple forte, coming in and giving us all the string, bass, and cello fast notes. get the idea big 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 and then finally Horatio Parker. Have a wonderful day.